Okay, going straight down. We'll start arcing this out to get around this docking port. Like that. Now here's a question. Do I want to keep... Do I want to enclose all of this? It's going to be a huge... You know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm going to close off this fairing here. Just like that. We're going to have multiple fairings. And on the top of this is going to... I think I now have some big ass nose cones. Yeah. So we'll put a big nose cone on the top. And then down here... Right here, we'll put a 1.875 meter fairing. Oop. Do I not have a one? Yes, I do. Right there, and we'll bring this out. And we'll bring it up to here, and then we'll close that off. I think this brings the fairing mass down to bring it all in sort of pieces. And then there'll be a one last one to just close off this engine bar. I think that's a little better. Um, let's see here. We'll put this on clamshell deploy. This is going to need a lot of force. We'll test this clearly. Put it on six pieces. And this one we'll put on four pieces. Put on clamshell deploy. Up the force a little bit. Shouldn't be so bad. All right, of course, what we're doing is we're increasing the mass of this might be, I don't know, this is, this might be wobbly too. <laughs> All right, and actually what I think I'll do, I got an idea here, is if I take some separatrons, there, get to this big, fair, the big one up at the top. Put this on two-way symmetry, flip that around, get the move tool, and tuck those inside, tuck them up a bit. And the idea with these is that uh, when we stage the fairing, these two will fire to just blow the nose cone away. That's, that's going to be the idea of that. Now, it's not going to require much fuel to do that. So we're going to take out... Oh, I happened to do that by mistake. We'll take out almost all the fuel here. Maybe about a quarter of the fuel. Keep the thrust up, though. I want this cone to just blast out of here. That should be good. And... um, I'm thinking that's about it. So let's... Uh, Hmm. Let's take these fairings. We're going to take them out of the staging groups for now. Because that just confuses me for now. And fairing staged. That's that bottom engine. That's the separatrons that will go later. All right. I can tell that this fairing has a ton of mass on it because it really brought down the delta V. But well, we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's save this. Uh, let's see what we can do as far as a booster goes. So, I do have a lot of new lifters, including one of the big lifters here. This, these, um, twin bore, you can lift a ton with one of those. I also have now the mainsail. So I should be able to build something. I'm hoping that's pretty big. So I'm going to get a... Fair kitty coupler here. Do, do, do. Let's see. Let's arrange these by mass. Those are stack separators. I don't know if I have a really big decoupler. Oh dear. Oh, the big masses are at the top. <laughs> okay, that is. Ah, I don't like that. That is the point one or two point five meter decoupler. I think what I might use is this. 
because this is really a 1.875 meter engine, the Cheetah, with, at least I think it is. Take off the, isn't that in here somewhere? Take off the shroud. Get a, another fairing. And just enclose that like so. Beautiful. And then this we're going to disable the staging. And then this is going to be like just that's the engine shroud. So that will keep that fairly clean. Now, how much is that bore going to lift? If I just flat out stick a bore under that, what do I get? There's the bore. I want to keep this thing from getting too tall too. So there's the big bore engine. Lordy, lordy, this thing can lift a lot. That's still a thrust to weight ratio of 3.16 and 2,000 meters of delta V just right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I cannot, is that going to be like stupid big? That's already overkill. I don't know if I need that much. That is kind of funny. So that was the bore. Where do you go? Why did I do that? There it is. This way with the name. So they're where I'm used to them being. There, that's the twin bore. Twin bore has how much thrust? 2,000 kilonewtons of thrust in a vacuum. Maybe we need can scale this down. Where is going down the engine parade? So I just don't think I need something as big as that. Here, go back to mass. Range these by mass. Okay, there's the main sail, 1500 meter, maybe just a main sail with, again, arrange these by mass. That way. Because I now have like things like the big fuel tanks. Like that's the big, I still call this the orange tack, <laughs> tank, the Rocco Max dash jumbo 64. See there, that's not bad it might be kind of on the tall side but it can lift that 2.39 thrust weight two th i want this whole thing to have i don't know let me think about 4800 meters per second of delta v so maybe with a couple of can i get way with a lighter engine the lighter the engine you can put on it the better I'm honestly thinking, like, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm overdoing this. I just don't want it to be that tall. That's all it's coming down to. So I'm going to go with half of that. And I know it's boring, but I'm going to get back the... What are some of these engines? There's a mainsail. There's a skiff. Oh, that's a, that's an orbital engine, it looks like. Yeah, definitely. Um, That's a swivel. Where's that's the mainsail? That's what I'm looking for. Just the skipper engine. Oh, that's not nearly enough. That's 650. Uh... No, it looks like it's going to be the mainsail underneath there. But what I'm thinking about. That's crazy powerful, but then what I'm thinking about is simply just to keep the height down. That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, decouplers, decouplers, decouplers. These ones. I just don't want to get too high. And then a couple of jumbos on here. Oh, didn't go on the And then, I guess main sails under that too. This is going to be a lot, a lot of engine. That's a lot of engine. That's going to do it just there. A couple of nose cones on the top. Do do do. Where are? Oh, I know what I'm going to use. I think I got. The, oh, I love these tanks. These slanty tanks like that. And then, on top of that, go the slanty nose cones like that. And then, 
we're gonna do some asparum, I guess this is a shade, shading like that. So these tanks will feed the central core. The, all of them will go off at the same time at the beginning, though it's gonna be a crazy amount of thrust. Oh, this is so, this is actually, if anything, way too much. <laughs> I'm going to be taking some fuel out. Wow. I'm going to keep those on there. Slide those up. It doesn't even look ridiculously stupid. This is, yeah, uh, this is what we're going to do. It's I'm going to be taking fuel out of it, but let's finish scrolling putting all this together we've got to put some struts on it because this is going to be kind of a, to say this is going to be wobbly is probably an understatement so we'll put some struts get out of the way you why am i having issues with seeing put the snap on And right about there. Is that looking all right? No, I didn't think I had it in the right spot. Go over this way. And there. There we go. Uh, might need some on the bottom too, but we'll keep it like this for now. Um, it's got some decent reaction wheels here. I'm guessing that probably will be enough. Where's my mass and my lift? Oh, let's not do that yet. Let's control. Oh, let's get some separatrons on here. That's what I want. Separatrons to separate these boosters. Well, I got me my first sort of heavy lifter here. We'll take out about half of that fuel, leave all the thrust in there. Do the same thing on the other side. There, so we got some on both sides there. That'll help to separate those boosters. Um, let's get those on where they need to be, which is here. These two are together. These are together. There. All right. Um, bump, 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 bump. Still a crazy amount of fuel. Okay, where's the mass and where's the lift? Oh, because I don't have any aerodynamic control surfaces. Let's put on... Let's use these guys. I think they should be okay. Just the uh, one, two, four. Sure, like that. Let's fix these fuel pipes up. Uh-oh. Now they're behaving normal. One sticking out weirdly like that for a second. Okay, that really should be fine. Let's turn the authority limiter down because I don't. Th I even think that's kind of overkill. Bum, bum. Okay, okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take out some of this fuel because it has way too much. I know too much is not so bad, but I want this stage to run out before we reach our apoapsis so that the final circularization will be done with this. That, I'm hoping, will do it right about there. Alright, let's put some launch clamps on it. Why am I having trouble with launch, launch clamps? There we go. Okay, we'll fix this up. This goes here. This goes here. Boomity boomity boom. Um, we are going to be re dramatically reducing thrust. <laughs> These thrust the weights are crazy. I just wish I had a nice intermediate a a a engine between the main sails and the um, the. Uh, I can get this out. The. Um, mainsails and the skipper engines but i don't think i really do okay these this is going to be launch this is going to be launch thrust to weight ratio oh look how low these are coming oh my golly 
Okay, what's that give me for a thrust up there? That's good. Back to Atmo. 26, maybe? Let's go with 25.5. Launch thrust to weight ratio of 1.32. All right. Um, I'm getting close to testing this thing and seeing if it will fly. Let's get into action groups. There are some action group things I got to do. I got to look at fairing separation. So uh, in my launch script, that's attached to action group number five. So at action group number five, we're going to do this fairing. We're going to do this ginormous fairing. And we're also going to decouple this docking port. And we're going to fire off these separatrons. So all that's going to happen when the that's going to be a lot of action when that fairing deploys. Um, at zero, which is what it does when it gets the space, I want to open up these little doors, and I want to toggle the communitron that's in there. Close those little doors right now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is a thing. I'm, I'm ready to give this a test. I am ready to give this a test. One final look at staging. Um, I'm thinking that all looks pretty good. Let's get rid of this. Let's open up our crash simulator. Man. And you know, for me, I still only have a tier 2 VAB. For me, this is a monstrous vehicle. All right, no, no passengers, no passengers allowed. So this, the thing I'm the most worried about, to be quite frank, is wobbly structuriness. I'm really worried this is going to be wonky on its way. Oh, why? I have two probe cores on here. Okay. I'll have to hunt one of those probe cores down and find out where you're hiding. There must be one in the station itself. So I can probably take one away. Anyway, we're going to run our launch script. We're, if we're going to Minmus, we'll end up going into a six degree inclined orbit. We'll go to a parking orbit of 80 kilometers. And let's do this. And watch the fireworks, because I am surprised. Yeah, I can. Already, it's already starting to get wonky. I'm, oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> So the script aborted. It didn't like that at all. And oh, she's a fallen over. This is why we test. <laughs> it's too wobbly. And we have lines for, for explosion. Okay, okay, that's fine. We're going to terminate that simulation. I was thinking that was going to happen. So what happened there is it fired up the engines. It started wobbling. And right away, the script called an abort. Okay, so we're going to do, I should have paid more attention as to where the wobbliness is happening, but I'm going to do some auto strutting. I'm not going to do strutting, strutting. I'm going to do auto strutting. So let's auto strut this to the heavy, not let's, no. Okay, I guess we'll auto strut to the heaviest part. Okay, we're going to auto strut. Oh, shoot. We're going to auto strut this to the heaviest part. We're going to, let's just get in. I think it's all in here where we get the most wobbly stuff. Just, just do a whole bunch of auto strutting. I used to consider auto strutting kind of a cheat, but I really don't want to get in here and start polluting this whole thing with, um, with all kinds of, uh, st other struts. I, I just I just don't want to do it. Uh, where's the auto strut? Auto strut to the heaviest part. And probably, yeah, let's get into here. Let's just start clicking on stuff and hitting auto strut. I really do think the game should just be a little more rigid out of the box make your lives a little bit easier. I guess 
that would take away the noodle rocket and for a lot of people the noodle rocket is a great source of entertainment so maybe this is the best way so if you want a noodle rocket you got a noodle rocket but if you don't want a noodle rocket then then then, then that's that um what else? oh yeah i said there was an extra probe core in here didn't i so we can remove a probe core you probe core or not the probe core i meant the kos core close I, I think auto strutting is a necessary evil. Let's see what this is like now. Let's see if that fixed the wobble up. Okay, so we'll simulate once again. Tudor Pass says that I explain a lot. I do try and explain. I've had the experience of, of watching people play games that I don't really particularly understand. And... They're just blasting through things and I'm not following what it is they're doing. And I'm not faulting people because when you're really familiar with stuff it's and you're doing things just out of, you know, kinesthetic root memory, it's really hard to slow yourself down and think about what you're doing to explain it to somebody else. But when I run into a video and somebody's explaining it well, oh, it did the same thing. Terminate. <laughs> Same thing happened. More wobbles. More wobbles, more wobbles. This might take a lot of auto strutting. I'm not sure whether to go up or to go down. This one's, oh, this one's not auto strutted. There we go. Auto strut. That one's been auto strutting. I was working my way up. I really think it's in this zone here. That's been auto strutted. How about these docking ports? I'm a little nervous about auto strutting docking ports. I'd prefer not to. That's been auto strutted. That's been auto strutted. That's been auto strutted. How about this one? Do, do, do auto strut I think these uh, structural tubes really aren't meant for heavy structural stuff like I'm doing here auto strut I'm gonna work my way right up the rocket here auto strut this bit on the top can't be that bad can it What about a boosters? Let's auto strut up these boosters. Uh, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Auto strut two. Oh my god, that's auto struts going everywhere. And this one, auto strut. Okay, let's try it again. This is an auto strutting demonstration. <laughs> Do I have a pro body that is turned upside down? I just see uh, uh, some comments about that. I, if the probe body is upside down, the nav ball is upside down. They can feel the hate inside me with the auto struts. Yep. The nav ball is upside down. Okay. Okay. That could be the whole problem. This thing ain't going to fly right with something up. Okay. 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 That is an issue. All right. Um, let's see here. I do have stuff that's upside down. Uh, that might have more to do with what's going on than anything else. Let's aim the camera here. Is there, where is that? Oh my God, I can't do anything with. Okay, we're going to come out of this. Sorry, I'm going to terminate this simulation right now. I did not notice the nav ball is upside down. And considering I'm using... KOS, which is an automated uh, scripting system, it's trying to point the rocket up. <laughs> and up might be the exact opposite of what it's wanting to do. So what I'm going to do... Ah, uh, yeah, so something... Let's look at this one. There is a pro body that is here upside down. Like, can I get in here with this? Oh, why is this being so difficult? I move you this way. 
I'm looking to see the octo word. I believe octo is right side up there. So I think that one's right side up, but I think the culprit is likely in the station. It would make perfect sense actually that this could easily be upside down. So I'm gonna grab this. Ah, oh, shoot, let's put it out. Control Z. Control Z, you stink. Oh, there we go. Let's throw that away, try that again. So I have the scripting, the KOS part on the top. So I wanna flip this so that the scripting thing is on the bottom, right? The other way, nope. Oh, it's sticking to the top. I don't want you stuck to the top. Don't stick to the top. Fine, if you want to stick to the top, but I really don't want you to stick to the top. Fine, be that way. We'll see what happens. Okay. Um, all right, let's see if that m makes a difference. It's really hard to see in there if that octo is upside down. Now it is right side up. I can see the word octo. I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen, but octo is right side up. That could be the source of all of that issue. Might have nothing to do with auto strutting. Look at the nab ball. Brown up is a bad look. <laughs> but I think I should make the octo that's in the little pusher vehicle the, the root part. I'll do that next. But hey, blew up. That is a good sign. Okay, run, launch. So it might not have had anything to do with all of that auto strutting. Okay. Let's see how this does. There was a bit of a stall there for a second. Now it's okay. Now that the script isn't trying to flip it around upside down. Okay, let's see what happens when it does the first sort of, oh no, now it's like uber stiff. <laughs> Hooray! Brown up is brown pants day. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, now it's looking very, very stiff. I think it's probably overdone with the auto strutting, but uh, that's okay. That's fine. Min miss station. All right, let's see how this does. So it is not going up. Remember, I am going into a six degree inclined orbit. So that's why the heading is 83 degrees. But this is just to see how this does. And then, well, if this all goes well, we'll fire this off to Mimis. And if there are people watching this for the first time, watching my simulations for the first time and looking at all this wireframey stuff, that's from the Crash Simulator mod that I really like to use for the testing part. One is it does charge you. See, I'm getting charged almost 5,000 curb bucks so far for this sim and it's climbing. Um, and I like that. But it also neatly separates when you're testing and when you're flying, you know, for real, in quotes, if you didn't catch my air quote tone of voice. Okay, we're about to lose those boosters. Oh! Smart parts, no smart parts on there. That is my error. So I gotta remember to put some smart parts on that stage and on this stage too, because this stage will be running out hopefully before our Apple Apsis reaches its target. But, seems to be doing okay. I'm going to get in here too and uh, look at the textures here too, trying to make it look something, make it look as nice as I can. <laughs> Being stiff is not always a bad problem to have. That is true, Scott. <laughs> All right. We are almost, yeah, I'm going to have to take some more fuel out of this stage. That's okay. So I need to take out about 265, let's call it closer to 300 meters per second out of this stage, because I want it to be gone. Um, why didn't that fairing stage? Five, lots of things not happening. There we go, that worked. Should have done it by itself. What's wrong with you, script? Oh, maybe because the engine cut off, maybe it's not used to that, I don't know. I don't know. 
Oh, Rob Woods, thank you very much for the kind donation. Rob says, thanks for all the help. Learn lots from you. Well, thank you. It is very much appreciated. Man, this thing is a thing. Um, I'm thinking just a couple of tweaks and this will be all fine. So again, I want to take out about 300 meters per second out of this stage and add some smart parts. It is needs another 624 out of its bazillion delta V's that it's still got left. I think it's going to be good. I think we're good. Okay, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to close this. Terminate the simulation. Let's do this thing for real. Time to do it. A few more tweaks and we're going to we're going to do this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Rob, thank you again. All right. Um, so, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, I wanted to take out... Actually, I don't want to get into adding too much, but I'm, I'm worried now there's not enough fuel in this top stage. But Okay, let's take out the 300 from here. So, where is my... I'm at 4937... Actually, I should just take three. I should just take it out of here. I'm already. Do, 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 do. Actually, it makes way more sense shoot, to take it out of here. So then you're lifting less. So, okay. Uh, I want this to be God, 46, 36 uh, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking of going for it. I'm, I'm what I really think I should do whoops is actually put more fuel in this but I think I think it's okay it's just this ginormous fairing that's really what's doing it um smart parts smart parts for the staging so we need the drain X put one drain X here which will look for liquid fuel and when it runs out of liquid fuel it's going to stage and another drain X onto one of these uh, probably this tank again looking for liquid fuel that were empty and the reason why I put it on the top tank is because this tank is already partially drained I think that should be alright alright saving that uh, thrust to weight is still a little bit high. Oh, because I took some fuel out, of course. There. And a little bit out of this engine. I'm really underutilizing these engines. They're too big for what I'm using them for. Let's uh, doll this up. Let's pretty this up a bit. So... Boat tails. Um, these are the traditional orange tanks. Should I make them orange? For those people that don't know what I mean, back in the day, these tanks were always an orange color, and everybody called them the orange tanks. Oh, unfortunately, I can't change that. Oh, that's too bad. I'll keep them like that. Make it gray up the middle. Can I do that all the way up? No, nope. that's white. That's white, 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 white. And then these will be back to orange to match with the orange there. Oh, this is turning into a kaleidoscopic nightmare. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna I, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. And I say that, and then I keep going, don't I? Black and white on the top. There it is. I'm stopping. 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 Save that. Can I change the fins? Well, there are variants on the fins. They can go dark. Dark fins. Okay. All right. Um, right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, how did I end up now with a thrust to weight that's too low? Oh, I know. Oh, my gosh. Not being very smart. There we go. Let's get that fixed. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Save. Save. Stop it. Launch.